Carl Van Devendrum with the University of Arkansas Division of Agriculture. I'm here with Todd Reeses this morning who is with Cargill Pork and we're on the Sandy River Farm which is Cargill's farm just outside of Moralton, Arkansas. And we're here to take a look at some rather innovative uh, manure management technology that Cargill has put in to address some issues. Todd, what were some of the motivations that you had or Cargill had when they were working on developing and building this farm? Well, we, uh, when we first started talking about uh, putting in the facility, one of the things that we wanted to, to look at was some alternative technologies, see what was out there, and see if there were some systems that might have, you know, work well for what we were doing. And after looking at, uh, at quite a few different systems, uh, the, the system we've got here is very similar to systems that we have in a lot of our uh, meat processing facilities right. and so uh, we, we had an interest in, in trying it to see how it was going to work and um, our ultimate goal was to you know to put in a facility where we could be friendly with the neighbors mm -hmm. and eliminate you know or try to reduce eliminate uh, as much odor as possible from you know facilities and uh, so that's kind of how we got to where we're at on putting Putting this in. Okay. My understanding is this is a uh, roughly a 4,200 uh, sow fair to finish operation. Uh, correct. It's it's uh, 4,200 sows. We uh, we produce uh, breeding stock here uh, for other facilities, and so the the nursery and finishing part is is uh, the capacity to, to uh, for the replacement uh, stock. So it's not uh, doesn't have the full capacity okay. of a 4,200. Well, would you mind kind of describing the overall manure management fl uh, flow as it flows out of the barn through the system, and I think understand some of it actually flows back as recycled water. Sure, um, the the barns are all uh, pull plug systems. Mm -hmm. They have a two foot uh, pit underneath the buildings. Uh, those pits are pulled uh, weekly, uh, so we've uh, we've got in excess of a hundred pits in the barns, and uh, then the system drains out into a uh, lift station okay. uh, and then from there it's pumped up into out to the waste treatment system. Uh, it originally came to a screen separator that we had over here so we ultimately pulled that out. It had kind of served its purpose and okay. so now we go directly into the manhole and from there then it gravity feeds on into uh, the digester that we got here. Um, and from the digester it goes to an aeration basin and then gravity flows into a settling basin right. on the very end. And then from there, the solids are pumped back around um, from that manhole down there um, back into the, the original manhole. Okay, the idea being there just to give a, a second chance for those solids to digest. Into yeah, it. yeah, okay. uh, get a, you know, any, any further degradation we can get on the solids. Okay. And then um, the liquids then overflow on into the irrigation basin uh, and from the irrigation basin, the water is either uh, sent out to uh, land application onto the crop mm -hmm. fields through center pivots, or it's pumped back into the facilities and used for pre-charged water in the pits. Okay. Uh, we're set up to where we can either use well water or uh, irrigation water for recharging the pits. Okay. We lease this piece of ground here that uh, the facility's on, and uh, as, as we were looking for a place to put the facility, um, you know, that was one of the things that we looked for was to try to get into row crop ground. And uh, we've uh, formed a, a really good partnership with uh, the local farmer. And it's, uh, it works well for him because he, he likes the added water and nutrients for mm -hmm. the crops. And it works well for us because, uh, you know, we've got a good place to go with it. So. Right. Well, now you mentioned a row crop is a preference. Why was the preference for the row crop over, say, the more traditional Arkansas uh, pasture, hayland uh, scenario? Well, for, uh, you know, the row crops are going to take up the nutrients and uh, better utilization of the nitrogen and phosphorus and, than what the pasture lands would. Uh, you know, he's able to take those nutrients off the off the ground and and, uh, and get better value out of so them. So it's a case that with the row crop, you have, it's a little easier to have the nutrients flow on, produce a crop, then flow off with the crop so you don't end up with nutrient buildup. Correct, absolutely. Okay. Well, I interrupted uh, a minute ago on the um, digester here. We're seeing a bunch of black uh, material. My understanding is that's a 100, 100 mil hypalon High density polyethylene cover, is that correct? Correct. The, uh, the, the liners themselves are 60 mil and then the cover is 100 mil. 
um, and uh, it's just uh, for added added strength and durability. Um, the the water you're seeing on the cover, we had heavy rains last night, and uh, has uh, has created a lot of water hold, sitting on the pond. And uh, we'll be pumping that off. Uh, try to keep that pumped off daily uh, to to help allow the the gas you know to, to build up. So okay. well, that actually leads into the next question I was going to ask. <laughs> And we, we talked about a digester, and really digester, most folks talk about it is kind of a lagoon where you have the microbial action breaking down and producing gas. Uh, so that's the reason we're seeing the liner in the center is actually puffed up a little bit. What, do you, what are you currently doing with the gas that's produced? Uh, we, uh, when we originally designed the system, again, our, our purpose was to, to try some technologies and to reduce odor, and, and the system as it was worked great for that. Um, as we as we thought through the design, we were trying to think of something we could do with mm -hmm. the the gas, and uh, one of the ideas was to use it to incinerate the dead pigs that are that are uh, ha we happen to have out here, and so uh, that's what we're using some of the gas for today. It's a it's a small amount of the gas that's actually generated. The rest of it's uh, is flared off. Right. Um, our Long-term goal is we wanted to analyze this for for a while and see what our gas production was, and and we're in hopes that uh, we get gas produ enough gas production that we could uh, go in and maybe do some cogeneration uh, with it. Okay. Well, now is the gas production uh, constant throughout the year, or does it fluctuate kind of with air temperature because it is an ambient system; it's yeah. not a heated system. So. Yeah, it's uh, this is a mesophilic system, and so it doesn't have uh, the added heat to it, and so it is uh, greatly impacted by the the temperature. And so, uh, in the summertime, um, you know, we'll see uh, a lot of gas production mm -hmm. out of it, and then in the winter time. Uh, we had a great uh, drop off on it, um, and we we're through that. We're we're still working through. We've only been in production about a year and a half, and so we're still learning on whether it's how much of it start up and getting the microbials going, and how much of it's temperature based. But uh, we did definitely see a, a drastic difference in gas production. Todd, with the manure management systems you have in place, it sounds like there might be some issues about how you control the various components and kind of a central control station. I understand that's where we are now? Yes, this is, uh, we call it our biogas building. Uh, one half of it is the mechanical side that's got the blowers uh, in it that pull the gas off the, the mm -hmm. cover. Uh, this half is the electronic, uh, electrical side of it. Um, the, the building, because we are handling biogas, is all explosion proof. Um, we have a control panel, a main distribution system that uh, uh, controls all the, the aspects of the waste treatment system, uh, all the pumps, all the uh, uh, aeration equipment. Um, that's all handled through this uh, control panel system here. And then uh, to control that, to run it, we've got a uh, electronic panel over here that uh, it's got a digital screen on it that you can look and see, uh, check on the status of all the equipment, and what's running, what's not, the, the flow rates. Uh, it'll give you, uh, you know, the cover heights, uh, how much water, water levels, those type of things. And so, this system is is there's a similar system to this in the office and uh, up in the farm, so that the manager there can see the same stuff there, and he can actually turn on the pumps and. I uh, run the equipment from, from his computer there as well. So. Mm -hmm. 